Hello, dancers, and welcome to day 29 of our Corona Quarantine Daily Vlog. Teacher Joel here talking to you today about continuing what we did yesterday, actually. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video, that would be day 29 of our vlog. Um, click, there will be something that comes up. I forget which side it is. Click on that. Watch that video first because it has to do with standing leg coordination. Once we have that understanding of tapping and knowing when we go through our legs, this video will feel a lot more clear for you. Watched it? Got it? Oh, of course. Everyone's already watched it because you guys always watch every single day. You've subscribed to the channel, right? And you've clicked, uh, there's some sort of notification thing so that you know when I upload the videos and you watch it right away or soon after it. Anyways, let's get ourselves started and talk about two exercises. We'll say one exercise, but in two parts that you can do at home to understand and activate your leg action a little bit more. Now I'm squatting down because if I stand up, you am chopping my head off just a little bit, but I need as much space as possible so that you can see what's happening down below. Now, the first thing that I need you to understand within leg action, is that your standing leg generally, there will be some exceptions, but generally we'll have two actions to it. Two actions. What are those actions? The action is a pull and then a push. A pull is an action that brings something towards you or you bring yourself towards something, bringing it together. And then a push is something that makes there to be, creates a separation between yourself and whatever it is. Here what we're talking about is between you and a spot on the floor so that you can progress either sideways, forwards, or backwards with wonderful control, beautiful musicality, perfect balance, and of course a whole lot of power and smoothness. So let's talk a little bit about pushing and pulling and I'm going to grab a cloth. I'm going to place the cloth on the floor. You can use your shoe bag if you'd like, whatever you'd like. Uh, cleaning cloth, clean the floor a little bit. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place the cloth in front of me. Now this first part of the exercise is going to demonstrate my right foot action to pull and push. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place that heel because I'm going to just do a heel lead with that right foot. I'm going to pull that cloth underneath me. Then I'm going to push it away and I'm done. Yeah, let's do that again just to demonstrate. I am pulling. Now I'm pushing. Awesome. I could do this backwards. So here it is behind me. I am pulling the cloth towards me and I'm pushing it away from me. We understand what's going on? Yes? Okay, good. Um, I could do this, of course, with my other foot as well. Now I want you to understand that there's that pull and that push. But right now what, I'm, what you're seeing is still a moving foot action. I'm trying to demonstrate that as a standing foot action by now using a chair. And I'm gonna use an old office chair here. And let's just do it in this direction since we practiced in this direction with the towel. So here, if I demonstrate, oh, where's my towel? My towel was in front of me and I pulled it towards me and I pushed it away. And what I'm going to do now is I'm actually gonna do it with my standing foot. So my right foot is my standing foot. I'm gonna hold on to the chair for a little bit of stability and safety. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hopefully with my slippery sock, maybe I should've used slippers or shoes for this, but let's see if this works. I'm going to now pull myself and then push myself out. Now, what happened there, everybody? Teacher Joel went from over here to over there. I propelled myself, I moved myself, I motivated my body to travel forwards with my standing leg action. Okay, yes, I'm not standing, I'm sitting, and my, my, my right foot isn't really supporting me, as we usually say, supporting or standing foot, but you get the idea, yes? This is my propelling foot. We can use that as a uh, different, different word, my propulsion foot. It'd be the same thing if I'm gonna go backwards. I'm gonna try to now hang my hips off the edge here and I'm gonna place my right foot behind me and I'm gonna pull myself backwards. This would be the same thing as if now I'm preparing my leg back and now I'm going to pull, I'm engaging the floor. 
with foot pressure. I'm gauging the floor, pulling myself now backwards, now continuing with that leg action, and I would be pushing myself away from that leg action to continue my backwards movement. So take this again in two parts, everybody. Grab a towel or something slippery, something that you can see. It's much easier. Of course, you could do that just with bare feet or socks and get an idea, but it's always a little bit more helpful if you just move something and you get that tactile sensation and visual sensation of getting something from forwards to backwards, yeah? And then if you have a, a swivelly chair, awesome. If you don't, you could try to pretend what the action is. So here I'm standing or sitting on the edge of my um, sofa and I'm pretending, okay, I'm pulling back uh, and I'm pretending that I'm moving myself in the sofa towards that wall over there or uh, like I'm rowing my rowing a boat or something like that or paddling. Yeah. Main thing to understand is that our feet, once they touch the floor and they support ourselves, they have not only supportive responsibilities to keep us from collapsing and balancing, but they will also, for the majority of our figures, have a propulsion or traveling responsibilities too. We want to understand that there's a pushing, sorry, a pulling and then a pushing because the foot will be in front of us, whether it's behind us or in front of us, it is ahead of the movement. And then there's going to be a pull, a receiving of the weight and then a push. Of course, this doesn't apply to some things like runs or leaps or jumps. This has to do with our walking actions, which are the majority of our actions anyways, when we're dancing our ballroom dances. So practice this slowly. If you didn't do the previous video, watch the previous video because that will get the timing. Ta ta ta, I'm pulling, yeah? I'm pulling and then I'm going through. We really get that awareness of the pull and then the push before we transfer weight. Oh my gosh. And, whoa, knocking over stuff. As a reminder, safety is our number one priority, especially at this, this time of uh, COVID. 19 so just watch out for um, things on the floor don't trip on things if you have um, small pets or big pets for that matter you know that whenever you start dancing around um, they do get underneath your feet so be be careful as well with that with that thank you very much once again teacher joel and teacher clara say thank you very much for watching all of these videos we shall see you tomorrow with more information that you can contemplate and repeat and repeat and repeat. Bye for now.